Well guys, in this bag right here, I got three salted rounders, and uh, I never done these. I always leave the VIN on mine, but uh, believe me, I'm not complaining. <laughs> but I'm gonna put these to soak here now, let them soak overnight, and tomorrow evening, uh, I gotta light a fire in the shade to dry off some clothes and stuff. So I'm gonna roast these rounders uh, like my uncle and uh, aunt uh, used to do, uh, God bless her soul. I'm gonna roast these in a paper bag right in the stove. First thing I'm going to wash them over well. So salt, if you wash out as much salt off as I could. Now some people might be wondering, you know, what, what's a rounder? A rounder is a small codfish that still has the, the sound bone in them. Now you could split a fish and take that sand bone out and the fish opens up right, but the rounder still has the sand bone in it. And because the flesh of the fish is still around the sound bone, uh, when you salt it, it's slower curing and it develops a different flavor. And I'm telling you, a rounder is some of the tastiest fish you're going to get. Now, uh, later on today, I'm going to roast a rounder for my supper, but uh, I'm boiling one here now for my breakfast. And a uh, boiled rounder, you know, with a sliced toast bread is a great way to kickstart the day, you know? <coughs> nice and thick. Look at that, look at that. Look at that, what a breakfast this is going to be, what a treat. I put the fish and toast on different plates because you see like when you take the fish out of water there's a bit of juice on the plate and you don't want to get your bread soggy, not as good. But uh, yeah, just push back the skin on the, on the rounder like that and just take off a bit of that fish there. You can't beat the flavor of a salt rounder. Like I said earlier, where the, the bone is in it, it's slower curing and and gives more chance for the flavor to develop. Now it's a little shade salty because I got to soak it a little more, and especially where uh, the ones for supper is going to be roasted, <coughs> so you really want those soak uh, really well. And just imagine, for supper I'm going to have roasted round there. What a day this is going to be! guys I'm willing to bet you know when they packaged up uh, these paper bags they were expecting people to put their lunch in them more so than use them to actually cook your lunch with <laughs> but that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use one of these paper bags to uh, roast uh, uh, my rounder with 
I'm telling you, it's gonna be good. So I've just beaten the wood apart there a little bit, and uh, just to make some coals, but it's a bit too hot here yet. Uh, I think that burned down a little bit. All right, so here's a paper bag. Now, I don't want to drip this on the floor either. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shake a bit of water off. No, just going to put it around the written paper bag. So, uh, wind the bag up around it a little bit. And that's all ready to go in the stove. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm going to cook one for supper. Uh, not overly hungry. And I'm going to save the other one uh, for uh, breakfast uh, tomorrow morning. Now I'm going to roast that around there right in the stove on those hot brands. And I'll close up the stove right now. Now I'm going to turn it over here now. All right, let's see what we got here now. Pour the hot to the hand or two. Look how nice that is uh, roasted on in, nice and golden brown. <laughs> Get my sleeves up for this one. A bit of dead burnt there. Now. Oh, the flavor. Number two is going in. <laughs> roast this one a little bit longer. The other one was good, but uh, a little bit longer would have been uh, better. Now, turn this one over. I guess I'm going to have to find something else for breakfast tomorrow morning. <laughs> well, just listen. <laughs> and the smell is unbelievable. I think the cedar yet is a uh, burnt paper bag and burnt fish skin, but just watch and see what lies beneath here. Gold and brown on the end, and you got some nice coloration down along here where it roasted. This is gonna be fantastic. And look at this homemade bread. You know, that's all I had to eat today was rounders and toast the whole day. And believe me, I ain't complaining. Just look at that there. Mmm. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Just look at that. Around there like that and a bit of toast spray. Oh, the flavor in these rounders, you can't duplicate it. No other way. Well guys, uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you get to, to give something like this a try sometime, but I guess that's it for this one. I really appreciate y'all watching. Take care. All the best from the big land.